up, sleeping bride. Wake up, sleeping bride. Redeem the time, the days are evil. How dare we sit there and watch CNN and watch all these different things and not listen to the Lord's voice. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Don't allow worry to keep you from this book. Fear and this whole thing has got us in such a thing where we've incorporated Jesus and we've surrendered to fear. It's not okay. I would highly encourage the body of Christ to step out and love on cashiers, love on people stocking shelves. Right now, you have employees that are scared because they have lots of people going by. They have gloves on. It will take their mind off of this virus. Yes, people probably aren't going to want you to get up on them and hug them. Yes, people probably don't want a handshake. They want an elbow bump. But what if you were somewhere and you saw somebody hurting really bad? I'm not supposed to touch anybody. Okay, well, just in the name of Jesus, you pray for them from a distance and watch God heal them. You do not have to lay hands on them. Jesus spoke and people were healed. The same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us and can flow through us the same way that he flowed through Jesus and healed through Jesus. We want to share him with the world. We don't want to keep him contained. This isn't a private matter. So we don't want to ever live in a place of fear because fear will stop me from praying for somebody because I'm afraid that they might have something they can give me. If fear is present and the dominant thing that you think about is worry and fear and anxiety, then intimacy is not there. The world shouldn't hold the bar. The church should hold the bar. Christians should hold the bar. What we need to do is live as ones that are on fire and in love with Jesus everywhere we go so that people actually see the fruit that we bear knowing what kind of true we are. See, when I know that I am known by the Father, it changes everything. Intimacy is the answer. We want to be as intimate with the Father as possible. And God said there's no limits. And Jesus modeled that intimacy for us so amazingly. When you're all by yourself, when you're not around your friends, where are you in your love relationship with the Lord? Because it all comes down to you knowing why are you on this earth? You're on this earth to manifest Jesus and not yourself. But the only way to manifest Jesus is to actually do what Jesus did. We need to rise up. The church needs to stand on the rock and stop hiding under a rock. We're at a crucial time in the body of Christ. God loves to manifest himself inside of storms. It's not okay for us to live in fear. We can't live in failure. We can't live in what ifs. We have to live in, I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave of fear. The body of Christ is notorious and churches all across the world sing that. And when something hits like this, they're like huddling in a corner. No, no. I'm not saying rebel against the government. I'm saying stand in faith and watch the Lord lift up your staff and part the sea. Perfect love casts out all fear. You have to know that you're loved by God. He'll never turn his back on you. You're here to be transformed into the original image that you were in the beginning before we ever ate the tree. You are here to become in the same image of Jesus. You are on the earth to manifest Jesus and not you.